Hello. 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 <sighs> Hello. Today's video blog is brought to you from my little sister's bedroom. That's not weird, is it? So I've come home to Bath to visit my little sister and my mum because it's my little sister's birthday today. And uh, I wanted to come and celebrate the fact that she's still alive with her. 15 years going. Well done, Bridie. And I wanted to film in Bridie's bedroom today because this used to be my bedroom, if you can believe it. I mean, it looks very, very different now with all of the kind of fashion stuff and it smells like girl and it's very frilly and things. It's a bit weird for me. But this is the room that I made the vast majority of the videos that are on my YouTube channel. So I had to, I felt like I had to be here. So... Yes, hello. Yesterday, I felt the urge to do something a little bit different, and so I made a Vlogbrothers-esque Thoughts From Places style video about Bath, where I am at the moment, my hometown. And I'm going to share that with you now. So, I hope you like it and stuff. Alright, bye. So I woke up at 8am in my little sister's old bedroom, which is why everything is purple and covered with stars. And about an hour later, I finally got myself out of bed, and I went into town with my mum being nice enough to give me a lift. And this is Bath. The first thing you notice about Bath is that it just looks bloody lovely as seen here and here and here and here and definitely here. And you'll also notice that it's full of tourists coming to look at all of these pretty things as seen here and here and well just about everywhere really. But I wasn't really interested in looking at the Bath that the tourists had come to see and so instead I went on a tour of all of the places in the city that have some kind of meaning to me personally. For example, this is where I was born after 38 hours of my mum trying to get me out. This is the first house I ever lived in. This was my nursery school where I accidentally killed a goldfish once by feeding it grass. This is where I swallowed my first bit of chewing gum. This is the news agents that I got banned from when I accidentally broke something in there. This was my route to primary school every day. I used to be religious and this is the church that I used to go to. This was the elephant that I used to ride in my local park. The same local park where my friend Jonathan broke his arm. This was the monument that I played football in front of on my last ever day of primary school, but I couldn't get any closer because there was a gate in the way. This was my secondary school where I learnt education or something. This is the road I used to walk up every day to get to secondary school. This is the shop that I used to steal Mars bars from when I was a kid. This is an alley that I went down once to try a cigarette. It made me feel really ill, by the way. Definitely not a hobby I wanted to take up. This is where I went once to try and do some graffiti with some friends and I was really bad at it. This is the skate park that I used to frequent during my bad boy phase and this is a kid dropping into the spine, which I tried to do once but I fell off and then I never went skateboarding again. This is the game station that I queued outside of at midnight with my mum for the launch of the Nintendo Wii. This is where I first got recognised off of YouTube by a guy passing me on his bike. This is where I went to go and sit and chat with my friends during PE when we were meant to be doing cross country running. And this is where I had my first proper kiss. As I was walking around getting footage of all of these little places that have some meaning to me, I kept on getting weird looks from people. One person in particular, this lady, was completely flummoxed as to why I found the entrance to this car park so interesting, saying, that's nice isn't it, as she walked past. But I'm sure that she, just like everyone, has their own quirky versions of their hometowns that they'd be able to appreciate if they took the time out to do so. Bath has already changed quite a lot since I've left, but the bath that exists inside my head, my bath, hasn't really changed at all. And if you ever get the chance to just wander around your hometown for no reason other than just to be a bit nostalgic, I would definitely recommend it. By the way, did you know that Bath has a mineral water hospital? I, I really, I don't understand why mineral water needs its own hospital, so if anyone can explain that to me, that would be really good. Thanks. Also, here are some cheap. Okay, bye. Uh, you've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool-like, which makes you like cool. 